Good day friends, ever wonder why your coffee stays hot or how your fridge keeps things cold? It's all thermodynamics at play. We are diving into the hidden rules that govern energy, making the complex simple and relatable. Get ready to see the world through a new lens. Understanding the fundamental forces behind everything from a boiling pot to a rocket launch. Today, we begin our new chapter, Thermodynamics. Let's get started. Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with heat, work and energy and how they interact. In simple words, thermodynamics explain how energy moves, how it changes form and how it affects matter. For example, when we boil water on the stove, heat energy from the flame is transferred to the water. This change is explained by thermodynamics. Let's check out. System, Surroundings and the Universe To study energy changes, we divide this word into two parts. Number one, system. The specific part we are studying like gas in a cylinder, water in a beaker or air inside a balloon. Number two, surroundings. Everything outside the system that can interact with it like the room the air and the atmosphere wow, wow. kya poetry bhi aa gayi number 3 is the universe system plus surroundings is equal to the universe remember thermodynamics studies how the system exchanges energy with the surroundings Got types of systems there are three types of systems depending on whether mass and energy can cross the boundary. Number one, that is open system. Both mass and energy can enter or leave the system. For example, a boiling pot without a lid. Steam escapes, heat enters. Look at on the screen. Number two, closed system. Energy can transfer but mass cannot. For example, a sealed pressure cooker, heat enters but food and steam cannot escape. On the screen, now number 3 is isolated system. Neither mass nor energy can be exchanged. For example, a thermos flask, ideally it does not allow heat or matter to transfer. When we open it, then enjoy. Now, I am just defining state variables P, V, T, U. Every system has certain variable properties called state variables. Number one, pressure, force exerted by gas particles on container walls. Volume V, space occupied by the system. Look at on this screen. Now, now, temperature T measures the hotness and kinetic energy. Number 2, internal energy U, total energy of molecules inside the system. This value describes the condition or state of the system at any moment. Thermodynamics equilibrium. Now, a system is in thermodynamic equilibrium when there is no net change in its properties. For example, when a cup of tea reaches room temperature and no further heat flows occurs, it is in equilibrium. Thermodynamics equilibrium To achieve thermodynamic equilibrium, the system must satisfy three types of equilibrium at the same time. Number one is thermal equilibrium. No temperature difference exists between parts of the system or between the system and its surroundings. Heat flow occurs, temperature remains constant throughout. For example, 
a cup of tea left on the table eventually becomes the same temperature as the room. Now, number two is mechanical equilibrium. No unbalanced forces are acting on the system. Pressure remains constant. Volume change due to the pressure difference, movement of pistons or boundaries. For example, on the screen, gas inside a cylinder with a piston that is not moving pressure inside is equal to the pressure outside. Okay, now number three is chemical equilibrium. No chemical reactions occurs or the forward and reverse reaction rates are equal. No change in chemical composition over the time. For example, in a sealed soda bottle, CO2 dissolving into the drink and escaping back into gas form reach a balance. So, in today's lecture, we learned what thermodynamics is, what we mean by a system, surroundings and universe, types of system, open, closed and isolated, key state variable P, V, T, U and thermodynamic equilibrium. In the next lecture, we will discuss heat versus temperature and the zeroth law of thermodynamics, the foundation of temperature measurements.